Game Up Hard Hydration is our sponsor. It is a great low calorie, low carb. How do you explain it? It's like uh, your favorite sports drink and your favorite seltzer got together. I'm trying to find ways to keep this read fresh because you know what it is. 110 calories, one gram of carbs, four yeah, great carbs. flavors. The man called Dave is going to tell you about every one of those flavors. Yeah. Fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. All right. Go get it. That's them. it. There's four of them. They come in an eight pack. The Rock made an unannounced appearance in Chicago. And what a moment when he just first he comes out, doesn't say anything at all. And I thought, well, that's interesting. And he does the whisper. And it comes to find out what The Rock had said was he whispered to Cody, I'm going to make you bleed tonight. And boy, did he. And this beat down at the end of it, it's classic. This is an old school, like the Samoan dynasty and the Rhodes family were working a territory. And they got together and they pulled all that history. Like, how would we do this? You know, he's like, he's bringing out the belt. He's getting the blood. He's talking about his mom. He's making it personal. He's pulling a little bit of his acting tricks, too, getting into the camera, making sure, you know. But this is all really good old school stuff. You know, we put out didn't go too far. I think there are a few people who are upset about it. But for the most part, I think if you're asking this crew right here, <laughs> I mean, we love that old school you know, you can't do it all the time. But that's the great thing. They haven't done anything like this in Raw or even WWE in a long, long time. So all the feedback I got from this, at least on our YouTube and TikTok, was pretty positive. And even a few people have said, this is the best thing that WWE has done in a while. Would you concur? What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely the most different that I have seen a segment that on the end of Raw to look. You know, they the beatdown was great. It definitely... It, you can see that Vince McMahon is not in control anymore. And I really like the way this built up to mania. It makes the rock look like that much more of a heel going into things. It makes Cody look like that much more of a baby face. The fact that Cody was just getting beat down and then the blood, it helped with the little bit of rain behind the arena. Yeah. I thought this segment was phenomenal. Uh, did the rock go too far? No, I think he took this story where it needs to be for everybody to, you know, kind of properly get pumped up for this. So I, I loved it. I agree. I will say this. Uh, I caught Brian Alvarez said this to a wrestling observer. And he talked about how much he loved it. And he had the same fear I did at one point. They were near like a roof-like structure. And it looked like maybe we thought about he was going to throw him off the roof. And he was glad Rock did it. And so was I because of the same reason. That would have took this great serious angle and made it into something hokey. It would have been, you know, Hogan and Big Show, uh, the Giant at the time, you know, Cobo Hall and all that other stuff. It's like, no, we don't need people getting thrown off roofs. Like, this is an old school, beat down angle, realistic. That's what I'm looking for for main event stuff, especially heading into WrestleMania with all these big players. Congrats to The Rock. That's what we needed. You're giving back, brother. I I mean, it. even remember Rey Mysterio a couple of years ago got thrown off the top of the WWE yep. building. Nonsensical. I don't have and time. Anytime for you have something like that, it always takes away. It always looks goofy. It does. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for people's eyeballs popping out. Uh, I don't have time for sitting. Look, you want to throw fireballs? Whatever. I'm used to that. The original chic baby. I'm all that. But when you start like literally engulfing people into flames, setting caskets on fire, <laughs> it's just like, no, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for Randy Orton, who I love to do his goofy ass pose when he just sets someone on fire. All that stuff is just, it's hokey. So this wasn't. This was the opposite of that. This felt legit, just felt personal. And uh, I like it. And Rock doing his best to be a heel. It felt really good. I mean, <laughs> I kind of giggle a little bit, but not because he did anything goofy, because I just like the way yeah. he goes. Roads. <laughs> Do you kind of want to discuss what we've got going on WrestleMania week for the people? Because we are a week away from probably one of the more tiring weekends of our lives here. And what do we got yeah. planned for the people? Watch along night one, WrestleMania. No doubt that is happening. Watch along night two. I have it confirmed by a special guest. He will be here. Guy we haven't seen in a bit, but... He promised me that he will be here that night, so we should be on for night two. Beyond that, we are talking about NXT Stand and Deliver, which I believe is on a Sunday afternoon, Joseph. You can correct uh, me on Saturday that. Saturday afternoon, I believe. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon. afternoon. 
So we'll do that. And then I believe we were possibly talking about doing some blood sport. What day is that on? Blood sport is on a Thursday. So that could be a live watch along, possibly. Not when the yeah. event is live, but we will watch the event ourselves. We'll figure it out. Maybe after the live show next week, we'll do the live show and then we will switch over to watching blood sport. So if you want to watch blood sport a day late with us, I recommend yeah. joining us here. Figure it out. I'm yeah. going to look up super card of honor and try and get that in as well. So we're going to be we'll bringing you guys a lot of wrestling content coming up next week. So you're going to want to be aware of the Working Fans Podcast YouTube channel. If you haven't tried Game Up, then you are missing out. Imagine your favorite seltzer and your favorite sports drink had a baby, but it's way better than that. Each can is 110 calories, low carb, 4.9 ABV. It's a nice light drink that is not light on flavor. Game Up comes in fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. Pick it up at drinkgameup.com.